Hello, welcome on this 12th of January 2021. Uh, today it's about gangster gang many TIs. They know already what I'm talking about. It's also about um, personal things. Well, um, well, if you uh, don't believe uh, this, what I say here, um, I don't care. I mean, there are so many people, other people, um, telling about this uh, things, you know, um, gang stalking people who bothers other people, uh, go after them. It's a it's a real hound, and uh, lucky me, I found a way out uh, of this. Uh, program I'm I mean I'm I'm still in but um, it is not um, in affecting me so hard anymore that I have to fear for my life but there was a time I had to fear uh, the problem is that uh, they um, prevent uh, your sleep that you can't find enough sleep anymore and this can be dangerous after a while, after a few weeks, that you become so exhausted um, that you can't uh, stand it anymore. And, um, well, it's uh, cleverly made, so there are many cars going after you and your neighbors. And so and it is only possible because our police here in Germany stands down, that they don't help you anymore. And well, there would be a proof if they would just go in into this um, apartment. Uh, so if you tell the policeman, well, in this apartment is something wrong, there is, there must be devices because um, you can hear it when they uh, bring this um, devices over you. You hear these noises, you hear these boxes and this. Uh, walking and uh, it would be easy uh, to go in and say okay um, it's our job to protect other lives and they would easily find this uh, devices I don't know how they look what I saw sometimes it is a box and uh, well they have this um, uh, you know this flat coils in and so and it doesn't look uh, like a weapon, but they would find something if they would be willing to do, but they're not. Um, and so this goes on, and it, it costs already many deaths. And um, there are older people, they will not find out what uh, is helpful against uh, this, uh, because they don't have a computer and they don't watch YouTube films. So they are... Um, yeah, they are sentenced to death without any trial and just because somebody decided uh, so that we are too much and many policemen think they do a, a good job because uh, we have uh, climate change and we all will die because um, too many people making too many carbon oxides so that they think they do the right thing to, to uh, well, let them go. It's a, it's a, I think it's a crime uh, not to help uh, people uh, if you know that there's something wrong in these houses and that uh, the police uh, do not uh, their job. Uh, it's quite clear. I think it's uh, not only in Germany, it's also in other countries. But, uh, well, okay, today I just uh, tell you how um, I escaped, or I tried to escape from this torture. Um, I had day and night, and, well, I first I went with my tent into the wilderness uh, somewhere here in this area, in the east of Frankfurt, so I slept in a tent at night. And, well, and then one day I decided... Um, when I got my memories back, there was a uh, ritual child abuse, and I uh, I recognized my parents, but then I realized that there were other noises, uh, so they were not alone. And then I thought, well, this could be dangerous, uh, that they want to eliminate you because 
that I, I found out there's something bigger uh, going on behind it. So there was also um, a doctor living in front of me and um, well, he was always friendly talking, but uh, I found out that he was mocking me and he was also involved and well, uh, it turned out that he wanted to wanted to see me uh, die, but thanks God this never happened um, to, to, to the day today. And well, it all started in, in, in May uh, 2016. Um, so my real father died some months before, so that was, Nove I think, November 2015. And then, well, I think that then uh, my ta time was uh, fixed, so the schedule was somehow, well, they wait till my real father died, so and then, then this uh, heart torture began in, in May, and also my memories came back. And But through that time, I, I had no idea um, that I had a famous father who was Kanzler here in Germany. His name was Helmut Schmidt. He was Kanzler here from 74 to uh, 82. And, well, okay, uh, I realized that uh, I'm in, in a serious trouble, of course they tortured me hard, and I slept with my tent outside here, not far from here, um, and then I decided, well, I try Switzerland, well, I hear that, well, I, in my opinion, it was so that there is a fascist government uh, here in Germany that uh, the police is not helping me and so all these uh, persecutors uh, in my house they are allowed to go on and also many cars came and I thought well this must be a fascistic uh, a fascist uh, takeover here in Germany and I have to leave this country and well I hear that in uh, the Third Reich uh, many Jews went to Switzerland to find a safe place so they found a safe place there, but um, I, I didn't know that um, I was a Jew uh, four years ago. Well, it was four and a half year ago. It was in summer, sixteen. So I tried it, and I uh, took a train um, to South, and well, I passed also Württemberg. So this, so I visited uh, also the grave of my. Uh, grandmother, so she was um, always nice. Well, I told you already in other films uh, that she was not able to control her fire when she was young, but um, she never touched me, so I never had problems with her. And uh, so I visited uh, her grave and also her house where she lived. And well, I, I must confess I, I cried because I thought uh, I will not survive this may be, and this will maybe the last time I will see her house and also her grave. So, well, I made a stop there in this town called Geislingen, so the goat town nearby Stuttgart, and then I went on to this um, lake. There's a lake in, in the south of um, Germany, it's called Bodensee, so it's, it's a big lake, and in the north it's um, Germany, and so in the on this house is Switzerland. I passed with a ship, and on this trip there was already a gangster car threatening me, you know, watching me all the time, uh, made me nervous, something like that. And well, but there were also friendly people, a couple from Switzerland, and I was talk. I was there in the evening, and well, I want to have a camping place on the other side in Switzerland, and well, my plan was uh, that I. Uh, visit my aunt in Zurich. Uh, she was my aunt, not my real aunt. She was a schoolmate of my mother, and uh, she was a special aunt uh, called in Germany. It's called in South Germany they call uh, Dode, so that means if something happens to your parents, maybe an accident, something like that, that uh, she would have take care uh, of me. You know when I'm I'm not. Um, you know when I was when I when I'm young something like that, so that was the idea. But uh, it turned out in my memories that I had a, 
sexual assaults from her when I was in her house at night. Um, so my mother just uh, brought me there and say, said, well, have a good time and well, uh, well she had. And I, my mother knew quite well that she, she was also, well, they were both <laughs> pedophiles, you know. And so just have a little bit fun with this boy here. And so I was there one week and it was not a good time and I didn't like to go uh, to see her in Zurich but I had, I thought well you have to go because maybe this can save your life and so and um, well I was on this ship and there was a couple from Switzerland and while well, we were talking and I asked them ah oh, you were in Germany maybe for shopping and they were upset and in Germany we will never buy in Germany we have to uh, support our economy, we only buy in Switzerland. And I said, well, uh, okay, so you were there only for fun? Uh, yes, only for seeing, sightseeing, other side of the lake. So, you know, well, the people of Switzerland, they are quite proud and they are always afraid about um, us, about us Germans, because they fear uh, that Germany one day will uh, take them over because of course German, Germany has a bigger economy and so the people of Switzerland they are quite uh, patriot people and some of them uh, don't buy in, in Germany because uh, yeah and so um, I was laughing a little bit um, but I, well I knew it already that they are quite bright, proud of their country, proud patriots and so when I came here to this other side, I realized that there were also cars and there was really no difference. And this is, uh, was somehow uh, disappointing me because I saw that uh, Switzerland is a neutral country and uh, never uh, do violence to um, innocent citizens uh, like me, but I was wrong. Uh, so I tried to get away from this coast here and I took a train to this town called uh, Fraunfeld. So it's, uh, well, it's a small town and I came there and uh, so I came from this train station looking for the camping and I uh, was on my bike and going up a mountain and then there was the camping and then suddenly I had problems with a chain or with a gear and I stopped beside the street and then I was fixing my bike and then suddenly there come, came a woman on a motor bike and stopped beside me and asked me uh, may I help you? So the Switzerland dialect uh, or something like that you know so can I, may I help you? and um, I said yes so she fixed it and was quite good, but she, uh, I tried to speak with, with her, but it was not possible. She uh, always repeated like, uh, yep, yep, um, so that means yes, and nothing more. So like a real soldier, and it turned out she was a soldier. She looked really like a man, uh, you know, uh, quite... Uh, not so much hair, so like somehow like a skin hat or something like that. So, well, I was happy, so thank you. And then I went with my tent on this place camping. And in the morning, uh, then maybe four or five o'clock, I got such a hard beam that I was not, not able to move. So I was really hidden by, by a beam, uh, electromagnetic wave. To that time I had no idea what it is, a uh, scalar wave, electromagnetic wave. Well, it, it felt like, uh, it felt magnetic so that I was in a magnetic field and I was not able to move and I was kind of narcotized, so I would say. And uh, when I woke up, uh, that, so suddenly I heard a noise of a motorbike. This is how I found out. Uh, and it was the same noise like in the evening before so that was her so so they already made contact with the target uh, telling her well uh, get close to him uh, maybe just 
you know, find something out about him. So maybe, um, uh, well, it could also be that she had, uh, s uh, well, I don't know, they had already my DNA frequency uh, taken by a device um, above my apartment or maybe also blood samples. So this uh, laboratories in uh, Germany, um, they uh, work um, together with Secret Service. Well, I show you, if you don't believe, I show you here an example. This is a prescription, uh, you say, I think. In Germany we say Rezept, so if you have a car, if you tell the doctor and he writes something for you, yeah, you go in a, in a pharmacy. So this is a normal uh, prescription, and here in this red uh, field you find the mark of the beast. It's three times six, and behind uh, this there's a sign, I think it is the Eye of Oros. So Oros was uh, a god in Egypt, so it is, uh, well, it's a sign of the beast you find in the Revelation of John, uh, three times six. And so that uh, is a sign that uh, all this medical uh, system here in Germany is controlled by uh, papacy, by Rome, by the Jesuit order. And uh, this is the reason why I can't trust any doctor or any hospital anymore. And uh, well, well, the story goes on. Uh, I was then in a hospital in this town called uh, Frauenfeld. Uh, here is the report in the next morning. I was so badly hit and my heart was beating fast. I was exha exhausted. I was in this beam maybe 20 minutes and I couldn't move. So I went uh, into a hospital of um, Frauenfeld, here you see. And, um, well, it could be that you saw also my name, my address. I don't mind. <laughs> they have my address um, anyway, you know. And um, I never spoke out my name, but, well, you, you, could, you could see it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care at all. Well, okay, um, what is in this report? So, okay, I went to this hospital and I said, well, I had, uh, I have uh, difficulties, I, I heart beating and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling weak and I, uh, may you help me. And my idea was maybe to get a, a scan of my brain. So they put an implant in, inside my frontal brain. So at night they came into my bedroom and they, they, well, they brought me down with a beam or maybe gas, I don't know, I was, I was uh, stoned and then somebody put uh, the implant through my nose and I know I have it here uh, in, in this left side. Uh, so I, when I go to the German doctor hospital, they always said, well, no, we don't do this. And if you think less, uh, we bring you to psychiatry. So I tried it already here, but so, and I thought, well, maybe in Switzerland it works, but uh, it was the same. So, um, well, what was in this report? Well, I just, they just write down what I told them. And because it is four years ago, I don't remember so exactly what, so I just write, I translate a little bit here. Um, well, he came on the 14th of September 2016 uh, to us and diagnosis is uh, swindle and uncertain walk and uh, so, uh, I don't know, DD functional, I don't know what it means, DD, well, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know, so um, so there is a amnes, amnes, or what you say, so the history of uh, his problems, or what it is called, you know, it's Latin, all of these important things are in, in Latin language, in the, med in the medicine, German language, uh, uh, Latin uh, expressions, you know, so amnes, um, so last night on camping here in Fraunfeld, uh, he's, he was overnight uh, in his vacancies and in the morning there was a swindle and uh, disturbance of 
balance uh, he stood up uh, he had head edge and uh, couldn't concentrate anymore uh, things fall out of his hand oh yeah that was really the case I forgot it um, so I had really problems to catch things and uh, it, it, it all takes so long and head edge uh, not so big but uh, uh, there's a lot of swindle and uh, um, uncertain feeling, um, so he feel uh, feels um, bad, so that he thinks he would, uh, um, you know, bad in the stomach and um, also uh, sensitive to light. Yeah, that was the case. So this light in the morning that was blinding me so hard, uh, where they really. Uh, uh, hit my nervous system hard and well swindle and uncertain walk so also when he walks he has to concentrate but there was no um, he never fell down or was no trauma well but so that so there was no fever or nothing like a virus infection well also well so then, well, he told us that he was hidden by electromagnetic wave, and um, so, and he um, he would like to have a e so a EEG. I don't know in English. It is um, you know you have a you put this uh, electrodes on your body, and then you move on a cycle so to look if you are. Uh, no, the, I, I mean this is only the brain. If your brain, um, uh, you know, this only for checking if if all is all right, you know, it is brain checking with electrodes, something like that. So, so this is in Germany EEG, and well, he wishes that, and well, also I wish uh, to make a, uh, you know, magnetic resonance so that you see. The brain, so I try to get this um, evidence that I have an implantat. I, I knew it already, and I was just asking, well, maybe you can make a, a resonance of my brain. And for my surprise, they said, yes, we will do, um, but we will uh, not give you the pictures. We will keep these pictures. And I said, well, um, if you make these pictures, of course I want to have it. And well, we we won't give you. We don't discuss with you. And I said, okay, uh, then no pictures. Um, well, there was a doctor. The first doctor came to me. Um, he was a specialist for neurons. I don't know how you say this. Um, psychiatrist or neuron expert for neuron like like moving and and so on. And I was laying on a on a bed and so they had put already this fu fusion this um you know there's a bottle with salty water and drops down into your vein I don't know in English uh, infusion we say infusion infusion I don't know in English so but uh, so I couldn't escape anymore so I had this inside me and there was a bottle above uh, on you know and then suddenly uh, my left my right arm was uh, lame I couldn't move anymore so good and he asked me do you feel uh, something in your right arm and I thought by myself this can't be this is cr this is like Mengele uh, experiencing special beams so I got a beam uh, at my right arm so that I couldn't move anymore my right arm and he just he asked me right this and uh, I said no I feel nothing because I knew already that they try to making experiences with me, and um, well, that was quite uh, shocking that I thought well this they don't don't care at all how you feel or what your problem is they they are starting uh, they want to make ex experiences how this beam weapon uh, works you know so this is. Uh, was quite shocking for me, but I uh, knew that. Um, so then I realized they will not help you. You have to get out of here, you know. Um, 
Well, then in this uh, report they wrote, well, he's a 48 year old uh, man and he's well uh, orientated, good condition. Um, and uh, well, there were no, we found nothing and neurons were all, all okay and uh, we proved if he could stand and he's walking and it's so all alright um, and he played a little bit uh, theater. This is what they wrote here. Uh, so they wrote, I uh, play theater. I show you this word. In German it is uh, theatralisch. Well, above my finger. You see, theatralisch, it means um, playing like theater. And this is really what they wrote. And uh, well, after they made experiences with me, uh, lay my right arm, and um, yeah, so everything is all right. And uh, we recommend him if he go home, if he goes home, uh, he, he should go to a psychiatrist. <laughs> so, um, but they knew what they did. You know this experience with my red arm, uh, right arm. Sorry. Um, well, after this uh, experience with my right arm, there came. Um, well, there came another doctor. So I asked for this uh, pictures of my brain. So, but he, he refused to give me the pictures. And then the third doctor came. She was a psychiatrist, and she uh, that was really serious for me. So she came in. And she asked me, right, uh, the first question was, so do you think you have an implant, uh, implantat in your brain, don't you? And I said, no, well, I, I, I never spoke it out. I just said, I want to have a picture of my brain, but I never spoke out why. But she knew already and right asking me and said to me, um, so, uh, so you don't think you have an implant in your brain? No, no, I don't have, I don't think so. Because I, I knew that it's a trap, I knew it already. Then she said, well, um, you told my colleagues that uh, there was an electromagnetic wave. And um, so um, you were hit by a wave, don't you? And I said, um, I don't know, uh, maybe there was uh, a field, but I don't know what it was. It could also be that there was a railway beside, that it was... Uh, I felt something from a railway, you know, I was sleeping with, uh, it was not far, so I was trying to find some lies to get out of there. And she said, well, um, well, this is not convincing me, you know, and I think we have to keep you here. And I said, well, I don't think that you have any rights to keep me here. I'm a German citizen. I'm here in Switzerland for vacation. And I don't think that you are allowed to keep me here. And she said, yes, we are allowed, we can do this. And, well, I said, um, um, yeah, do you know what? Uh, I, I was lying. I want to have a cause, a reason to get this picture of my brain, you know. I was lying. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a liar. I'm, I'm so a sinner, you know. I was, you know, I played <laughs> a little bit theater, so... And then after a while she said, well, mm, okay, this sounds logical for me. Um, okay, so there was not electromagnetic wave? No, no, <laughs> no. So, but she, she, I don't know. I think this doctors, they are involved in this weapon systems. And while well, they made an experience just maybe 10 minutes before she came in, you know. And this is all crazy. This is all, uh, this is... I, you know, if you are new in this uh, hound, so I was quite new, that was so something like uh, there was a world in my uh, head. Some people in the US call it blue pill land. <laughs> and I, I got the red pill and then, then I saw that that was all a fiction, that was all um, fake reality. And in reality, 
if you are targeted, they, they do uh, what they want, you have no civil rights anymore, uh, you fight for your life and they don't care if you die, you know. Well, they offered me, well, you can stay here at night and it's so nice here and I said, oh, no, 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 I think I go camping, you know, I'm, I'm a countryman and I like to stay outside, it's summer and it's my vacation, you know, I, I prefer camping. So they let me go and then for the blood sample I had to pay, so when I was back home, so they uh, sent me the receipt for this. But it was all nonsense, this was not the reason why I came in, but so I had to pay it, you know, this laboratory report here for my blood sample and well, that was so uh, disgusting. But I, I saw, uh, if this is the uh, last answer of what uh, we were fighting for, creating a, d a democracy, and so the American armies uh, liber liberated us um, from this Hitler regime, and they made a re-education, and uh, what I think it's time for a new uh, re-education program uh, to put all these doctors in, uh, who are uh, inside this uh, evil uh, plot and, you know, not only doctors, all the policemen, all the politicians, you know, this is uh, really uh, so disgusting. And uh, if you uh, speak about it, why well, they bring you in psychiatry, you know, you have no chance uh, to maybe to suit uh, anybody, they all say you are crazy, you know. Well, okay, this was um, the hospital of, um, well, uh, I tell, I show it again, just to prove you that I was there. And here is, uh, well, okay, I, it, it doesn't matter who signed it and who not, I, you know, it doesn't matter. They are all uh, sticking together. It doesn't matter. Uh, they control everybody, everything. Okay, what comes next? I, uh, so in this, uh, so I went out maybe at 11, 12 o'clock. In the afternoon, I was heading for the next town, direction Zurich. And the next town was uh, Winterruhr. Winter tour, I'm sorry. Um, uh, you know, from Frauenfeld to Winter tour. And, um, well, uh, I, I reached a camping place and uh, it looked like uh, this. Here you see the red point and you see all these tents beside. And so I brought my tent here and then beaming star was starting also on the way there were many cars so that was not a picnic you know it was not a vacation so they beamed me all the time on, on the way and there was also a man and he's, he showed me the way yeah you have to go here and there uh, you know a friendly man but he uh, he want, he was a guide to make sure that I reached the right camping place they were already in position so there were many devices around me and I well I decided well when it was late in the night I I I moved to this playground here this green one and then suddenly a window was opened and then they fired out of this building so and then I went back to uh, a house here yeah, it was the house beside the forest, and then I t tried to hide here. Well, the, the game was uh, to get some sleep that, um, you know, if you can't sleep anymore, yeah, you die someday. So, and that was uh, the problem to get, quite, get maybe two, three hours sleep. So, some, so they uh, found me also here, so maybe from the building, well, it can be many hundred meters. Well, the distance is no problem, so, and then I decided I go into this forest, well, I show you another picture. So I was here in this house, and then I went into this forest with my sleeping bag and my map, you know, this 
map for the uh, floor, for the ceiling, and I tried to hide here, and then suddenly I heard motorcycles, so motocross, and they, well, 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 and they, they were coming for me, and I start to run, you know, that was so, well, I never had a fear that they uh, would kill me uh, with uh, bullets, so this was already clear for me that it was more a game um, to um, kill somebody without a proof, so that he maybe kills himself, to bring him to the edge, to, so or maybe got exhausted that his heart uh, stops, so not something like that. So, well, I was moving, and then I was so that was not sure. I I went um, to the more direction downtown, so I I went. Uh, more this here in this area and some sleep another hour and then they found me again and then moving again and was it was moving all night long and then um, in the next morning there was um, you know this uh, is called uh, uh, this there was a Trini point of the, the Switzerland police and in the morning at eight o'clock they they had a shooting lesson and then bah, 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 were shooting and they were sh so motivated when I thought, well, it could be that last night some, some of these guys were involved in this hound, you know, then I was sleeping here and somebody was crawling nearby me and uh, making noises like a pig, so, wait, wait, wait. so you know, to scare me, well, it is a wicked game. It, for for people who are in the sound, they enjoy it. It is it's fun, but uh, it, uh, for the victim is no fun, and uh, where they killed already so many of them. Well, you know they're going after these people who are more clever. Uh, where in this movement, 68 movement in Germany, there was a movement. All these people they are now on a on a kill list because they don't want them anymore. Well, usually they target them uh, at home and they have no idea uh, why they are so sleepy and why they are uh, coming in better condi conditions. You, But yeah, you know, I was always a runner in my life and I always run and so on. They, they made a special program for me, you know, in Switzerland. It was, uh, it was hell on earth, <sighs> really. Well, well, what was the most hurting for me was um, when I met, well, finally I reached uh, this Zurich town. It's a wonderful town. I have so many good uh, memories, you know, with my mother, we, visit, uh, we, we visited my aunt here on this lake and going with a boat on, well, it's one of the most beautif beautiful place in the world. Well, they call it, uh, call it a gold coast, so you see um, in the morning the, the light of the houses and the lake and and you see also the mountains, the Alps uh, are not far from there, you know. And it's one of the most beautiful towns in the world and I had so many uh, good memories, but it, uh, well, in summer 16 it turned to a hell. Um, well, when I reached this... Uh, Town. I, I uh, visited, uh, well I found already uh, my aunt uh, telling her I, uh, well I come for a visit, she said yeah, yeah, and it was no problem. And well the first day I visited her, I was there two nights, the first night um, I went to another camping place, and the first day I said nothing about my problems, so just, you know, calm, not, not to shock her, not telling her about this beams and all this gang stalking and so. Well, uh, the first night I was in a camping place um, and uh, on a lake, beside this lake, uh, and uh, where well, there was also shooting and then in the night I was trying to sleep and there were people, they came in front of my tent and were whoa, 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 talking loud and I came out, so would you please uh, silence, well in the night, you know, I want to sleep, or maybe you could talk at another place maybe, if you don't mind, 
and they said well what, well, what you want so they tried to provoke me and there were always people in the second line so in other um, you know tents or so I, I knew that there were other people just waiting if I do something so that they can uh, put me under arrest so but I knew this game already so I, I went back and then no I found the police and I said to a Switzer uh, police officer well there are uh, people bothering me there are beams and he said uh, well there's a beam how does it sound uh, how does it sound no there is no sound it is a uh, like a magnetic wave you know and it uh, hurts me and he said well if there's no sound I think um, we will not come and it was already a feeling that well this police officer knew was already instructed how to answer because of this question how does it sound it comes so quick that I thought well this is a kind of theater here it is all um, all uh, orchest orchestrated somehow where well, they the police didn't come didn't help me well I went back in my tent and then there was hard uh, sex beside me in another tent well other TIs know this when you go in a hotel well some try to go in a hotel and um, well I think this film will stop here I'm sorry um, I will continue another time and uh, this is, was just about gang stalking and well the good thing is it can be over 18 and but there will uh, also another part um, no uh, this is under 18 and there will be a second part over 18